Good morning, Koi Copter 101 here, and I got something uh, for you today. This is, you've seen this before on my channel, the Seafly Obtain. Well, this is the new improved version of the Seafly Obtain. Uh, so apparently, Seafly has gone back to the drawing board with this uh, three axis gimbal here. And I, I'm not sure if they changed the hardware, any of the hardware, or just improved its uh, software. But it supposedly has improved stability now, folks. So uh, that should be a, a, a game changer if that's actually working now, as advertised. Unfortunately, they still use the same type of uh, micro SD card slot. Uh, I did not like that. Uh, it's, it's hard to get that micro SD card in and out of that thing, but um, they didn't change that design. <laughs> One other thing that they've improved on this, it's very important, is, uh, you know, this is still 5G Wi-Fi, you know, with a relay system, but they improved, um, I'm not sure if they improved the antenna on the, control, on the drone itself, the reception antenna and the transmitter antenna on the drone, or if they've upped the power, but supposedly this thing has a lot more range now, FPV range and control range, uh, close, they're, they're predicting 1,500 uh, meters, you know, 1.5 kilometers which is pretty far for a, a, a drone. Uh, I know there are drones that can go out there, but you know, that's pretty far for most drones. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, we're not gonna go that far today. We, I might get it out to 700 or so to see how far I can go, but I, I start to feel uncomfortable when I get too far away. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see if it actually has improved range, but. Okay, so let's go for a flight of this thing. Uh, to set it up, as with the uh, original Obtain, you have to open up its folding arms. The bottom arms fold out, or fold downward. Or actually, you gotta do the front arms first. Front arms first. And these fold out like so. And the back arms fold down and up and then out. Same with these, down and up and then out. Don't force anything, folks. Now this, the battery is st still the same, uh, 3S, uh, let me make sure, yeah, 3S 3800 milliamp per hour battery available from Obtain or Seafly. And um, now I've seen a lot of reviews on the original Obtain and a lot of people had problems with this particular drone. And a lot of that I'm not sure could have been prevented by doing a proper compass calibration. Now, there are two ways to do the compass calibration. You can use the Seafly app, or you can use the c controller itself. Let me go over the buttons real quick because I didn't review those yet. But this button here, in this position here, is in altitude hold. Center position is in um, um, GPS position hold. And all the way back like this is circle me. This does have circle me mode, which you can activate with this controller. This button here is for activating uh, the compass calibration. You go up and down four times and that will put the drone in compass calibration mode and you can do the rotation horizontal and vertical rotations to get the compass calibration. This is your return to me, return to home button. You activate by pressing this down here. They say this one's a standby button. I have not seen it be actually do anything. I think they're planning to use that for future implementation. Uh, this button here is automatic takeoff and automatic land or return to home. No, automatic takeoff and automatic landing. This is return to home. I can't get that confused. This button here, if you press it down, is your video. And a quick press is photo. And on off button here. And charger port here since this uses a rechargeable battery. You don't provide your own batteries. This has its own uh, LiPo battery, which is, uh, does it say? Yeah, 3.7 volt, 3.7 volt, 2500 milliamp per hour. It's a huge 3.7 volt battery. And these are its antennas. Now this again uses 5G 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Make sure your phone is 802.11 AC Wi-Fi capable before considering purchasing this drone or else you will be very disappointed. Additionally, this drone has a built-in relay system, Wi-Fi repeater. This, when you use the controller, although you can use the phone itself to control the drone, but when you use the controller, you wanna connect to the controller's Wi-Fi signal, 5G Wi-Fi signal, and the controller will connect and relay to the drone using its antenna here with, uh, and also I guess it probably does have a Wi-Fi amplifier too to get you that 1500 meter range. The other antenna here is your controller's antenna. 
for controlling the drone with the controller. Now, you want to keep both of these antennas, the flat side of these antennas, pointed toward your drone while you are flying distant. That will give you the best reception. Do not point the antennas at the drone, as that is the worst in reception and transmission. The way this works is there's a donut shape coming out of this antenna. And on the top and the bottom of this antenna it has the minimum signal. Maximum signal is coming off the flat ends of this antenna. So keep that in mind, folks. Okay, to fire this up, we are going to turn on the drone by a quick press of this on-off switch and then a long press. And that turns on the drone. We turn on the controller. <coughs> and that should bind shortly when we hear a beep. There, we're bound to the controller. Now, the first thing I want to do is that compass calibration. And we're going to go into the menus here and use the menus of the app to do this uh, compass calibration. And to do such, I hit compass calibration. And we hit calibrate. And we got to do a level rotation until it tells us, to, well, we got the red light there. I'm going to do it this way now, folks. And I believe I did it. No, it's probably telling me to do the vertical. Green and red. I'm going to do it this way now. Nose up. I think it's, I was supposed to do it nose up, not nose down. <laughs> Actually, I, and we got solid green again. So compass calibration should be complete. We should be good. Good to go. And hitting close. And the calibration was a success, hitting done, and coming out of this menu. And again, going back to position hold, all switches up except for that one there, it's in position hold. And starting the video camera one more time. Let's start the video. Hmm, come on video, you can do it. Oh, there we go. Video camera is started. Now starting the motors. And take off. Checking position hold this time. That seemed to do it. So again, folks, you want to keep the nose of the camera to be up, not down. What doing the calibration. Okay, getting into the view of the camera. Sinking it up and saying, how do you like my shirt today, folks? Well, it's holding its position rather well now. So we are recording. I'm going to go over here in the shade so I can see my camera. I'm going to turn it to the left, and we're going to go up and out. Let's head toward those trains off in the distance there. And again, I'm going to go over here and sit in the shade so I can see my screen a little bit better. Okay, so you can see the screen real well from here. Let's go off in that distance there. Pushing forward. And right now we're at 86 meters, going up a bit higher. 107 meters. 128 meters. Staying high enough so that I can see the drone. We got good FPV, excellent FPV, folks, coming from the drone. Pushing forward, 261 meters. I can still see it. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see the drone a little bit better, folks. I'm going to plop it right there for a bit. I like to keep my eye on the drone. 286 meters, pushing forward again. And 305 meters. I'm going to turn to the right. I want to go toward the, uh, there's a little thing over in this way. 370 meters. I'm going to follow the trains in effect. And i got to make sure that I'm pointing toward the right direction there. 415 meters. Excellent reception, folks. 435 meters. Still excellent reception. And again, I'm pointing my uh, antenna, the flat portion of the antenna, off in that direction where the drone is. Coming up toward the end of the uh, train there. 
I'm going to stop it there. 485 meters. I'm going to lower the gimbal so I can see the train. <laughs> I want to see the train. Going forward again. I'm getting close to the end of that train. So I'm pointing my antennas to the end of the train. 517 meters. They're not kidding about the range on this thing. Holy moly. Raising the gimbal up a bit. And we're going to go down the road here. Again, pointing my gimbal down the road. That's my battery power. 600 meters. Still excellent, excellent reception on my FPV. Oh, there we go. 637 meters. I'm losing reception. It got a little bit choppy there. It's 637 meters. Do I have, still have signal? Yeah, I do. Pushing forward. I'm going to come up this road, folks. There's a dirt road there. That way I can find it if I need to find it again. 708 meters. 714 meters. Holy moly, this thing's got excellent power. that down there 750 meters 760 meters turning to the left going down the road 790 800 meters holy moly I like this oh, 830 meters I lost reception there let's see if I can get back 854 meters do I still got reception Getting iffy. Iffy there at 850. Let's see if I can push forward. No, uh, it's getting iffy there. About 850 meters. 876 meters. Do I, and it's getting real choppy out there at 876 meters. Can I turn it to the right? It's getting real choppy. So let's do that return to home button from 885 meters. I hit the return to home button. And it should be coming back. Coming back home. 830, 820, it's coming. I'm coming back home. I'm pointing the camera downward a bit. I'm looking for us. 731 meters. I think I see us off in the distance there. <laughs> Six hundred and fifty-two meters. This is this is pretty awesome. <coughs> again, you know, I've seen a lot of people have problems with the original F obtain, and again, I if if you get the toilet bowl, you really need to go back to position hold and land it and redo your compass calibration. That's extremely important to do. And unfortunately, I don't see many people knowing know that they need to do that <laughs> you got to do that just about every flight they tell you you don't you do you really should do it every flight with most gps quadcopters i do it with most 331 meters coming back i'm starting to hear it 260 meters And if we still got battery power, I'll try some other, uh, the things that this quadcopter can do. It's it's really a full-featured quadcopter with, it does have follow me. What's this? Where are you at? I can hear you. Oh, I see you now. There you are. It is a good long-range quadcopter. I got over 800 meters there. Um, you probably can get 1.5 kilometers control range. I don't know about getting 1.5 kilometers FPV, although you know I was out there 800 meters, over 800. Did a darn good job. I'm noticing a hawk in the sky. I wonder if he notices my my drone. Probably not. It's kind of big for him to attack. <laughs> but let's see how accurate this return to home and landing is. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, turning off, return to home. And stopping that particular video, because I want to save it. And starting the video camera one more time. 
Take into the air manually this time, down and out. Throttle. Oh, making sure I'm in position hold, switches up. Right there. And I'm gonna get in front of the camera again. Let's see, again, how do you like my shirt today, folks? But the reason I'm getting in the camera this time is I want to go a little bit higher and actually to do these I'm, I'm going to need to use the app so we're going to come out of control uh, well actually let's do the circle me because we can do that with the controller but hitting circle me function and when you activate circle me it goes over a point and at that point it'll rotate and if you want to increase the radius of the circle you got to pull back on the stick And that sets the radius of the circle by pulling backward on the stick. Going up and out. And it's doing orbit right now. I got a red, what's that red say? I can't read that in this light. Complete. I hope that's recording, but... <laughs> okay, so that's orbit. Going back to position, position hold. And we're going to land it and bring it in closer. The reason I want to land it is we're going to fly it with uh, the controller now. With the, uh, the app. Using the app. So I can show you the, the other feature that this can do, which is follow me. It really can do follow me. So we're going to stop the drone and uh, start it, restart it again using the app.